Hello humans, Master Dinnerflax here bringing you a little quality content you deserve. And today I'll be reviewing some more custom cards. Yay! Now I kind of took a small break from it because I just wasn't getting very many. So I let like um, all the ones people were sending in, I let them clump up a bit so I have like a backlog to do. Because I just wasn't getting very many. So this one, it's Crystal Dragon, I assume. Yeah, Crystal Dragon. It, it reminds me of, what was it? The very first one we did? Um, I can't remember the name, but let's get into it. So we got uh, Quintessence Crystal Dragon Athoria. This is a wall of text, so let's brace ourselves. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. You can only special summon one Crystal Dragon monster once per turn this way. That's kind of strange. So, um, I don't know how to put it, but, um, when you say that, you assume they all have the same effect. So that's kind of a really weird problem-solving card text. And I'm not sure if that actually works. I assume, do all of them have that? No, not all of them have that. So I'm not too sure how you would write it. But that seems a little odd. Um, you, I would say you can only special summon crystal dragon monsters in defense position from your hand once per turn. Because if this one does it um, in defense... Yeah, because otherwise there's no telling what effect it's referring to. I know that's a, like an extreme nitpick. But um, it is kind of strange. And I guess, like, since it's custom cards, it doesn't really matter. I think people will infer what it's talking about. All right, let's get into it. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. And that's kind of... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 3,000 defense, so that's going to be a little pain in the ass to get over. If this card is summoned, you can add one Crystal Dragon Monster from your deck to your hand. If you activate a monster effect from your hand or graveyard or a spell or trap card during your opponent's turn quick effect, you can add one crystal dragon monster that is banished or or from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, this is fine. Um, it doesn't have any offense power, so it's not insane, but it is quite a wall. Um, level 8's 2, that gives some good trade-in synergy. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. You can only special summon one crystal dragon once per turn this way. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card is summoned, you can add one prism spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Um, I don't think there's any prism spell or traps. Um, I don't think so, anyways. If you activate a monster effect from your hand or graveyard or spell or trap during your opponent's turn, you can set one prism spell or trap, and it can be activated that turn. Um, I don't know how powerful this is yet, because I haven't read any of the spells and traps. But it seems pretty strong, and both of these are really big walls. Um, something I guess I will say is um, summoning these guys is very... These two are just level 8 monsters that you can just summon. And that could potentially buy you... Like, if these were introduced into the real game, that could kind of be a problem. Um... I guess since we don't have dark matter, it's not the end of the world. But if we get another, like, rank 8 or something that needs a level 8, that could be uh, pretty dangerous. Um, but, like, it doesn't even matter their effect in that scenario. But um, while we don't have dark matter, I don't think it's a problem. But uh, if we still had dark matter, you would ha probably have to fix that. Um, then Heavenly Crystal Dragon... Uh, Aldo Athoria. So I guess it's this one. Oh no, they're all Athoria. That's weird. Um, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Alright, so another one of these. You can only special summon once per turn this way. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Your opponent must attack this card if able. That's interesting. If this card is attacked, inflict 800 damage to your opponent. You activate a monster effect from your hand or graveyard or spell or trap. You can target one spell or trap on the field, destroy it. 
that's really interesting. I actually think that's a really cool effect. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very basic. It's not insane, but it's pretty interesting. So let's get into these last few. Cannot be destroyed battle or card effects while you control a crystal dragon monster with a different name. If this card is summoned and you control no other monsters, you can special summon one crystal dragon monster from your hand or graveyard except crystal dragon Athoria. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you might need to work on the text in that because they're all crystal dragon Athorias. I guess except this one, but... Um... No, that's fine. It's just referring to the original Crystal Dragon Athoria. You can only activate this effect to Crystal Dragon Athoria once per turn. If a Crystal Dragon monster would leave the field by battle or card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. Treat this effect as activating from the hand if it is used during your opponent's turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what we got here last. Aerial Crystal Dragon Athoria. If your opponent activates a monster effect while well, you control a crystal dragon monster, you can discard this, um, negate the activation. If you do destroy this card, you can only activate this once per turn. During the battle phase, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Your opponent's monster loses 1500 attack until the end of the turn. I think this is too strong. Um, because I want to compare it to Guru, how it searches Subterra Fiendus. But Fiendus doesn't destroy the card. Yes, it can negate Spell or Traps. But it doesn't destroy the card, and it takes two cards to get a search with Guru. Whereas, I believe one of these actually just... Which one? Yeah, this one is a one-card complete monster negate. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I literally think it would be more fair if it was a Fiendus where it didn't destroy, but it could negate spells and traps as well. Um, because since you can't destroy these guys by monster, you can't destroy them by monster effects. So what you're going to actually have to do is you're probably going to have to monster climb to try to out these. And having just something like this, it just makes it so impossible. And they get advantage off this. I think it'd be better off as a subterra fiendus. Um, it gives it more utility, but at the same time it kind of nerfs it a little bit i that's what i think you should do with this um i know it's omni negation but destroying the monster is probably more powerful than it not destroying whatever you're doing with it so that's my impression of that um let's read the rest of this during the battle phase you can banish this card from your graveyard opponent's monsters lose 1500 attack till the end of the turn uh yeah. Yeah, that's that effect is fine. I would just make it a subterra fiendus. Um that's all I would do about it. Um and then Prism Dispersion. Discard one Crystal Dragon or Prism card, draw two cards. If you discard a level eight Crystal Dragon monster, add one Crystal Dragon or Prism card. Um except for Prism Dispersion, th then draw one card instead. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So instead of making it a pot of greed, you can ins you would have to put instead you you would have to right here, you would have to say instead you can add one crystal dragon or prism card, accept itself, then draw one card. It, instead being over here is kind of confusing. But that's like a nitpick again. You cannot special summon the turn you activate this card except crystal dragon monsters. Yeah, that's fine. And it's a hard ones per turn. Add one Crystal Dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Then if you added a level 8 Crystal Dragon this way, draw one card. Um, that seems really dumb. I'm not going to lie. Because, again, Engage, yes, it does the same thing. But Engage still needs you to be interacting with your opponent and playing. Like, a lot of the times, people will throw almost their entire hand to get a draw one-off engage. This one literally says, okay, so what I'm seeing here is a small problem where you can activate this to search this, draw a card, summon this, and search this. That is really, really powerful. And then it gets effects by using this. I would remove the draw one part. Um, what I would do instead of draw one... 
Um, I would actually make it, then you can send one Crystal Dragon monster from your deck to your graveyard. Because the, or which is it? Um, you can add one from your graveyard to your hand. Or Spell or Trap. Yeah, I don't know. Because the draw one is kind of ridiculous. Um, you're kind of, what you're actually doing with this, I fear, is you would end up making like a stun engine. And I don't think that's what you want to do with this deck. That's not the impression I'm getting. But what happens is if you make a card like this, that's all you're going to end up seeing it from. It'll just be an advantage engine for stun decks. And I don't think that's your intended purpose of this. Um, I don't know what you would place the draw one with, but it I do think it needs to be replaced. And then Dazzling Prism Wave. Um, hold on. Activate this if you control a crystal dragon monster. Target one monster on the field. Destroy it. You can banish this card from the graveyard except the turn it was sent there. Target one face-up monster on the field. Negate its effects until the end of the turn. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, Prismatic Prism Burst. Um, choose one of these effects. Target one crystal dragon you control. It gains a thousand attack. And it cannot be targeted until the end of the turn. Any card or effects that activated before this chain that would target it? Resolve? Target? Hold on. Before this card in the chain would target the targeted monster resolve without effect. That's really, really cool. Um, I think that's actually probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in a card. Um, because, like, one of the problems of Forbidden Lance is, uh, it like, as long as your opponent has some chainable... It never really worked, but having something like this is actually really cool. So that is well on you for that. Target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy it. Then if you control a lovely crystal dragon monster, inflict a under damage to your opponent. That's nowhere near as cool as the other one. Um, Prism Mortar Crawl, special summon one dragon crystal dragon from your hand or graveyard. If you activate this during your opponent's turn, you can special one crystal dragon monster from your deck instead. Hmm... Uh, you know how I feel about summoning from the deck. I think it's a really, really, like, it's something you should stay away from as much as possible. Unless it, like, has a condition. But, thinking about it, I don't know if there is any value of summoning it. Yeah, that's... No, I think you're alright. Uh, I would... Because you already have to have setup to get that, so that's probably okay. You can banish this card from your graveyard during your opponent's turn while you control a crystal dragon monster, except the turn it was sent there. Turn away face-up card your opponent controls to the hand. Um, okay. It, I want to say this playstyle reminds me of Bujins. It has a lot of the same themes going on where they have these graveyard cards and the cards in hand like this. So it actually reminds me a lot of Bujins. The only thing I'd say is, um... You only have two monsters that trigger in the hand. Well, you have several spells and traps that work uh, during your opponent's turn. So I feel like you might want another discard one. But um, if that... I don't know. I, I feel like you want another discard one. Because you don't have very many. And then we got Prism Valley of Mirrors. You take no battle damage from Crystal Dragons. During each end phase... Switch all Crystal Dragons to defense position so they all become Dante. Opponent can only attack with one monster during the battle phase. Your opponent must pay 800 life prints during the um, battle phase in order to negate this card's effect until the end of the turn. Hmm. Okay, so they can either attack with just one or they can pay 800 life points to ignore that. Honestly, that's not very good. The only good part about this is uh, they turn into Dante... But that's like not a bad thing. I just I don't think this is very useful. Um, I guess like if your archetype had an honest, it wouldn't matter. But I don't know. Uh, Prism Ground. You can normal summon Crystal Dragon monsters with two less tributes. You cannot special summon the next effect the turn. You normal summon a Crystal Dragon monster using this effect once per turn. You, if you activate a spell or trap or monster effect during your opponent's turn, you can either. Add one of your banished crystal dragon or prism cards from your hand, or set one prism spell or trap card 
from your graveyard. Okay, so it's either multi-roll or a recursion from the Banish Stone. That's cool. Uh, Prism Reflect Coating. Activate only if all monsters you control are Crystal Dragon monsters. Your opponent summons a monster, banish that monster. Your opponent monster clears an attack while this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there. You can banish this card from your graveyard, negate the attack, then banish all attacks and monsters that you control. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like bottomless and a mirror force. So it's based on two like old school traps. I actually like that. Oh, what counter trap. If all monsters you control are crystal dragon monsters, when your opponent would be summoned or a monster effect is... Yeah, see, this is what I was thinking about. So since, since like if this is going to be your best counter trap card, um... Like, you should have a sub Venus, or this should only affect spells and traps while this affect monsters. I think that would be interesting. So, activate if all monsters you control are crystal dragon monsters. When your opponent summons, would summon a monster or activate a monster effect, to get the summoner activation, if you do, destroy that card. Then, level 8 or rank 8 crystal dragon monsters summoned to your field while this card is in the graveyard, except the turn it would sit there. You can set it from your graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. Uh, hold on. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I don't think you need that recursion. I know Salomon Greats have it, but you already have recursion. So I feel like this is kind of like the recursion stuff. Not only is it redundant, but it's like way too convenient. Like you can already recur this when you want to. So putting the claws on itself is really dumb. So I would actually remove that because you have your own ways of recurring it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, it remove its own recursion claws because you already have ways to recur it. Um, yeah, so overall what I would change is I would remove the draw from this card. Um, I think that's really dumb. Uh, you just, like, just because you search the thing you're going to search for anyways... Doesn't mean you should get a draw off of it. I think that's really, really not good. Like, even Engage isn't at that power level. And Sky Strikers are one of the best stack. And I would also make this... It shouldn't destroy, and it should affect spells and traps, because you already have monster disruption. So what's the point of having another monster disruption? That kind of feels redundant. And you want to avoid redundancy when making cards like these. Um, you want to have a tool for every situation that comes up. If you're going for a play style like this. Um, I'm not going to try to say that. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. This card can attack an additional time during the battle phase for every two XC materials attached to this. You can target one face of monster on the field. Attach it to this card as an XYZ material. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can detach one XYZ material, then target up two cards on the field. Destroy those targets. You can only activate this effect of Ardent Dragons Chaos Strike. This thing is extremely bloated. Um, yeah, I feel like this thing is extremely, extremely bloated. Um, I don't know that I would fix it, though. And I don't know how you would fix it, though. I think it's fine. But it does seem extremely bloated. I feel like it should just target one card or something. Because that's an extremely bloated effect, and an already deck with a lot of tools. Um, alright, this thing, holy shit, how are you? Alright, let's read this. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. If you activate a card effect during your opponent's turn, inflict 800 damage to your opponent once per turn during your turn. Attach one XYZ material from this card, negate the effects of all monsters your opponent controls. Then destroy all monsters your opponent controls. With attack or equal to or less than this card's defense. Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one face of monster in the field. Negate its effects. If you do, banish... Uh... So, that this is a contradiction. Because if you target a monster to negate its effects, it will only be negated on the field... So removing it from the field doesn't unnegate it, but it lets it resolve. 
because it's no longer on the field having its effects negated. I so I would fix this effect and I also yeah like your negations kind of are pointless like there's no reason to negate their effects unless you say negate their effects on the field in the graveyard or banished you would have to do something like that you would have to state their their effects and cards with their names are negated this turn um, so I would go ahead and fix that. Four level eights, I would consider that just almost a nightmare and win more. So this one is like super, super win more. You would already be winning the duel by the time you made this. And then a link to two crystal dragon monsters can be destroyed by card effects. If your opponent activates a spell or trap during their turn, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your extra deck by sending two crystal dragon monsters with different names you control to the graveyard. If summon this way, negate the activation and destroy it. That's cool, but that's also really dumb. Uh, yeah, that's kind of dumb. I I mean, there's your spell and trap negation at least, but I don't know. So I'll I'll just get into it once we get to the end. Then you can set one. If summon this way, you can banish one card from your graveyard. Quick effect. You can banish one Spell or Trap card, Prism Spell or Trap from your graveyard. Uh, set one Prism Spell or Trap from your deck or graveyard, and it can be activated this turn. You can only activate one effective Crystal Dragon per turn. All right, so at least there is balance. Um, so overall, I think this deck is extremely powerful. I think this is a ridiculous deck. Just like mind blown there are a few things you just have to change though otherwise this is just un you can't play against this remove the draw one from this um have this only target one card don't let this destroy because that's pointless because i i'm not pointless but that's way too much don't have this destroy remove the draw one clause on this um i've this one actually needs a buff, but that's about it. Um, this one's bloated. Try to nerf it down a little. Find, like, some fat you can cut off this card's effect because it does way too much. Um, and then this one, I don't know how I'd go about fixing it. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Because that is really dumb. I don't know. I guess this one's fine, ultimately, but it is just extremely powerful. But I would go about changing those cards specifically, because if you don't, there's a good chance your opponent literally just can't play against you. Um, because, like, you getting stun after getting stun and getting a draw off of it is actually really stupid. Like, it, it, I... I mean, I can't just state how really dumb that is. So this is probably the one card I gotta say this needs a nerf. Like, this is the problem of your main deck. Like, if you have... I, I, I've stated enough. Like, it's too much. Like, that is too much um, because this is a lot. Like, these are all borderline way too good. Especially in custom cards because... The thing about custom cards is not everyone agrees on the same power level of cards. So a good rule to keep in mind is if your card is better than something that is the best in the real game, you need to fix it. Because no one is trying to be at that power level unless they are trying to troll you. This isn't 2018 where we have one card FTKs anymore. We're not. Where the game has slowed down quite a bit. So your the deck, the deck's maximum power level should be at the maximum power level of the current TCG. I feel like that's a good rule to keep in. I feel like that's a really good rule to have. Otherwise, like you just won't. You it'll just be an unfair game where you're either winning so hard or your your opponent's just losing so hard. So I would just like. Yeah, I feel like everything is fine except this, really. And this destroying is also dumb. But, yep, 
that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, that's basically it. I spent a long time on this. So thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinner Flags will take your soul.